my name is Eli Tiamkin, and in this video, I will talk about edge compute and computational storage. A third of the world data will be generated, stored, and processed at the edge, according to Gartner, by 2025. Big companies with cloud infrastructure like Microsoft Azure, Amazon Web Services are aligning their strategies and products around the edge. So why edge? The edge is not here to replace the cloud, but to enhance it. The cloud will continue to grow, but the edge will support the vast amount of data that is generated by the edge devices. The data needs to be supported with low latency, better security, and better cost structure, and that edge layer is providing that function. So if we look at the edge compute architecture with computational storage, we see the traditional memory and processing CPU or GPU. But instead of standard solid state drive on the edge compute architecture, we now have computational storage devices. Each device has the ability to process the application locally, application or container. And by doing that on several devices, take advantage of distributed processing that provide higher efficiency for the system, better performance, much lower power envelope. Uh, data is not moving in large amounts from the edge to the cloud. So big amount of data coming from the devices, process at the edge, and the essence of that processing is going to the cloud or back into the devices. If you'd like to learn more about what SNEA is doing around computational storage, click on the links. Thank you.